Let's get to the card. First of all, let's go to the, the matchup. Really didn't mean a whole lot. Days want to get a couple of Canadians on the show. Kickoff match. It is Carmen Tekovich and Ariana Grace taking on JC Jane and Jasmine Nix. Um, pretty much Carmen and Ariana are from Canada. They just wanted them to have on be on this show. That's why this match is on here. There really is no other reason. They literally said that on the broadcast on Tuesday. They're literally a kickoff show because they're from Toronto. <laughs> literally want this match to be here. So I give them the credit for honesty. I mean, I give them a lot of credit for honesty. So there's any reason to make a pick there. But I will say, Ariana Grace is so Santino's daughter. It is hysterical. Like, you tell who, who, who has trained her in comedy. Because she is fucking fantastic at this role. <laughs> so, everybody gets to the actual matches that matter. NXT Tag Team Championship. It is Nathan Frazier and Axiom taking on Chase U, Andre Chase, and Drew Hudson with Riley Osborne and Thea Hale. And they told um, Mitch Holland to stay home and not come to Toronto because, well, they proved that he's being an asshole. That's pretty much the whole storyline. Um, Nathan Frazier is too busy concentrating on his singles career and is pissing off Axiom. That's pretty much what the whole point of here is, too. I don't see the belt saying on them. Dad, your thoughts? Uh, my thing is, if you've noticed lately with the vignettes with Chase U and Duke Hudson, uh, he doesn't seem like he's comfortable kind of being where he is right now, and I think he wants to break away. Rich Holland, and, or, who, Rich Holland or um, Duke, Duke Hudson? But Duke Hudson looks like he's fitting with the community, with the university better than ever before. He he looks like he's frustrated with Rich Rich Holland. Rich Rich Holland. Well, I know that. Like, but, I'm sort of telling. But I, I, I think he's frustrated with with uh, Mr. Chase only because I think he wants Chase to say, okay, that's it. Let's get you know Ridge out of here and just focus on what we were before. And whether or not Ridge finally leaves is another story. But I'm torn because I would like to see the belt stay on Nation Phrase Rackham, but I think it's time for on Chase U to have a go with it. <laughs> so anyway, I, I do have Chase U winning. Um, <laughs> sounds like they're cracking a lot right now. Were you playing him off? No, I was playing the Chase U music. I know, but are you playing him off? No, I'm just playing him for the fun of it. I'm playing him for the fun of it. If I'm playing him off, I'm trying to buy him up. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you. That was just too easy. Um, <laughs> I'm <laughs> hearing all the salad thoughts. <laughs> um, none whatsoever. Fair enough. Um, Connie Jordan is defending the North American Women's Championship against Sol Ruka. Um, Sol Ruka actually beat Ariana Grace again in this match. So that's actually pretty cool, at least. Um, funny part is, Connie Jordan just wanted to give the match to Sol Ruka, which made me laugh really hard. <laughs> but, um, Ava made him have an Emerald Contendership match, but at least that makes sense to me. Um, I, I, as much as I love Kalani and I love Saul, I don't see his match being great. I just don't see a title change right now. I think it's too soon to think about love Kalani. Um, I, I will say something about Kalani. I've been saying, I've been joking around that she is some little black boy's first crush somewhere around the around the country right now. That's who she is right now because she's freaking cute as hell, and you can I can just see it. Um, that. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't see a title change. Uh, they're going to keep the belt on her for a little bit longer until they figure out who's going to be a worthy opponent to get it off of her. Uh, my thing is coming down the pike. You've got the Psycho Windy Chu. Let's see that type of match. Uh, no, but keep her away from titles, please. I do not want that. Oh, uh, yeah, by the way, Sal, Windy Chu went all um, psycho. She's now, she's now a large yeah. psychopath. Not just narcotic. Is she still sleepy though? But she's but she's a psycho now. <laughs> Evil music and everything. Evil music and everything. <laughs> she looks like an uh a how can I put it? I don't like know, a... how can you put it? <laughs> how can you put it? <laughs> um she looks like she could be brought into the way at six, let's put it that way. I can find a picture of the new Wendy too. I'm trying to find it real fast. But um yeah, Wendy Chu right now. I I know. Keep her away from fucking um, from the fucking 
title scene right now, please. This is no, there's no reason for it. There is no reason for that. As much as I love new people in the main in, in title pictures, that's not something I really really want. Is that okay? Let me see. I have a picture here. See if I can get up on the screen here real fast. I'll stop. I can see this picture. Real quick. No, I saw. I saw. I saw. You found it? No, no. I've 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 seen the the video of her return or whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah. That's that's her. So. I don't know. It works for what it is. All right. Um. So, Dad, Kalani Jordan retains. Uh, without a doubt. So. All right. Um. North American Championship. It is Opa Femi. Fucking badass that he is taking on the um most the, the quote unquote best North American champion of all time, Wesley. Um, Wesley. If he he pretty much said if I if I don't win this match, I I don't. Um, Oba Femi said you can't get another title shot as long as I'm champion. And I don't see Oba Femi losing this belt anytime soon. Um. So I see Oba Femi retaining dead. Yeah. Uh. Even though my heart goes with Wesley, the cardiac kid, I don't see him taking the belt off. Uh, I, I don't know if anyone is going to be a good opponent for Oba Femi to get the belt off at this time. Uh, you know, the only thing I could see is if he ever wanted to challenge for the main belt and he would have to surrender the other belt, that would probably be the, the only way that would be open. And okay. I do see Obafemi challenging for the main top belt. I only thing I only thing I see is that I can see them taking their time, keeping the belt on him for a while because he is the, he got, people forget Obafemi when he won the belt it was only like his sixth match. Yep. So like he's still really fucking new. Like he's still really really new with this. And but he, no, he's he, fucking good at it. <laughs> and here's and here's the thing with Trick. Oh, not gonna I, we're gonna check in a minute, but yeah, to your point, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's only a matter of time before I think he's gonna get a call up. Um, sorry, you're gonna say something. Um, so uh, Wesley can't get another title shot if he loses, correct? If he loses this match, he won't like another title shot with almost almost every champion. Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say ever. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's pretty much the same stipulation as these stats. Uh, um, this death, Damien Priestin later. Except okay. they have more to it. A, this is an actual stipulation, not a gentleman's agreement. It's two different things. <laughs> so, um, all right, moving on. Uh, next team women's championship. It is Roxanne Perez taking on the. Um, they're trying to make it to a baby face, which is not working. And I'm, I'm former MMA star shaking my ass, Lola Vice. Translation: Julia was supposed to be in this match. She's not here yet. We need to keep the belt on Roxanne until Julia gets here. Um, that's pretty much all this is. I expect Julia to be on the show at the end of this match um, and challenging Roxanne. I just don't have a clue what the next show is. But um, Roxanne retains, gets challenged by Julia. Um, Stel? Speaking of big asses, what happened to the other one? What's her name? Who? Um, Nikita Lions? Huh? Nikita Lions? Yeah. She yeah. got hurt again. She tore her fucking other ACL. Ah. Yep. This is the second time she turned an ACL in the last year. This is the second time. <sighs> and the funny part is, if you had told me, if it wasn't for Julia, I would just say, where the fuck's Cora Jade? Because she's supposed to be back by now. And she's like Roxanne, one of Roxanne's top rock rivals. So that also makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, but the Julia and Julia coming soon. I'm um, dead. Yeah. Uh, I don't see any type of challenge change because of what you said, Julia coming in. And Will this be a good match between the two of them? Probably, without a doubt. Yeah. But I... I don't see the hype at Lola. I don't see the hype. I don't see the hype. I just don't see it. So My my thing is, so they're giving Lola this big push, this big push, this big push. Um. Okay, so you're giving her the big push, and what do you want her to get out of this? And that's the question. What do you want her to get out of this? If the belt's not going to change hands, then you're doing this big push for what reason? To give somebody uh, Roxanne an opponent for the show, I mean, or or to give more exposure to Lola. I mean, that way, I, I that's the only thing I can her think of. Doing that already, so it's all good. <laughs> so shaking her ass is giving more exposure. There you go, works for her. NXT Championship in the main event is <laughs> Trick Williams, <laughs> hey God, um, um, Devontae Evans, Ethan Page, and Sean Spears. Uh, if you're wondering. I'm going to say who Javon Evans is. He's actually new in the NXT world, but apparently he's been wrestling for a while. He's um, he's kind of, he's, he's 
how to explain it. He's kind of the second to Trick Williams right now, kind of, not officially, but like the way they're showing it on TV. But he is really fucking good. Devon Evans is really, really good. I did not, I, don't, I never heard of the guy until about two months ago, but he deserves this spot. Um, he's the only, and so we're having a third of four away now. I'm not going to lie. I'm really, really looking forward to how this is going to go. But I'm not sure. I don't see Trick dropping the title. But I'm not 100% sure either. Um, that, uh, this is a tough one to call because of the contestants that are in this match. And, you know, you got Ollie, Ollie Ethan that, that has come on. You, you've got um, Sean Spears who's coming on, and you got Javon Evans, who is the newbie, but he's making an impact, no pun intended, uh, on NXT. Uh, I kind of look at Javon as he's like a combination of Wesley and Leo Rush, which is great. And that, That's a good comparison, actually. That's really good. And if you give him the momentum when the time is right, I would say Put him against Oba Femi, and if you want to take the belt off of Oba, this is the person to give it to. But as a main event for this show, I I, I definitely see Trick retaining. Let's just be honest here. Right. So, um, I don't know how I don't even know why Ethan Page is in NXT. <laughs> I have no idea why he's down here. He should to be, be a thorn roster. in Ava's side. That's what it is. So, like he should be on the main roster. His whole character says main roster like it doesn't say nxt to me personally like, i don't understand why he's here <laughs> but I think uh, they're, gonna, they're gonna do a little bit of time in nxt and then he's gonna be called up to one of the main main rosters hopefully he just definitely deserves it sal any thoughts on this to move on mm, no no other thoughts cool well, you got you got an opening because die jack's no longer there so good i decorated a return by the way overseas he popped up in red pro the other time. that's pretty cool that was quick yeah i was really fast i'm like wow that was that, his contract expired suddenly he was already in the ref pro within like 24 hours 